so in the search box we are going to add it now so for that we are going to uh, we are going to developer mode insert in active x control there is one search text box right so that one we are going to add it so we will drag it here okay so we will place it here search box then in design mode okay. we will click on that uh, design mode right click properties okay in properties you can see linked cell option is there linked cell so in which link you want to uh, link that means i am going to okay outside something outside or behind this uh, dashboard i can select m n l m n l k whatever is link but i don't want to go back again i will keep it on p so what i will do is i will uh, select the cell right click properties so in properties there is a linked cell i have to type there so i will go with o1 so that is o1 not 01 it is o1 so i'll click okay i enter close this cell. what you then okay i have to close this i have to click on design mode design mode get deactivated whatever i type here it will get automatically typed here so that means here if i type shivani automatically you can see it get typed here so this is like a hidden thing so this one we have to link it to list box so we have to link that one to list box so search box is done now if i type shivani here i should get shivani here also so that we can do only after linking this o1 cell to this cell a2 in the list box sheet so here i will what i will do i will make sure i will i want that name whatever is typing in that o1 cell i want it here so what i will do equal to dashboard o1 so what i will do i got shivani here so if i type arjun here so it gets it typed here as well in list box also it got typed here as well so equal sign dashboard o1 you will get that same value here now when i type arjun i want his serial number here so if i go to edited sheet if i find arjun think arjun only arjun yeah you can see 184 number so 184 number should appear here automatically so what i will do i will remove this data validation so data validation we did just for till here just for our reference purpose now any more our reference will be this dashboard search box will be the reference number so according and we don't want to go back to all these sheets once we create dashboard yeah once we create dashboard uh, we don't want to go back to these working sheets so what i will do is i will go to list box i will click on this cell i will go to data data validation then i will click clear all then okay so how to get this thing done here how to get 184 as per the data set his serial number is 184 i want 184 automatically here because i am getting arjun from the dash dashboard sheet right so automatically i want his serial number get typed here because 184 if we get serial number here automatically these detail will come because all these cells are linked to this number again we don't want to change the formula and all now we can think that okay we might have added it to name only like that and all but it is not possible uh, so what we will do is we will use the we look up function so what we are doing is why we look up because if you remember in first uh, second video or third video we have added one serial number column i told you that i will use, uh, explain that in 
uh, one of the uh, videos so this is in this video i'm going to explain this why we have added serial number here because to get this respect corresponding names corresponding names so now what we are having is we are having the name we want corresponding serial number so we are using we look up function for that i will just increase the uh, row uh, column width here okay. equal to we look up what we are looking for we are looking for this person's serial number so a3 is the lookup value where we want to see we want to search it in only these two b and c of the data set sheet okay so in between b and c comma which column we are going in second column out of b and c in c column there is a serial number so 2 and exact match we want so 0 false or 0 so we will get arjun's 184 number automatically so now you can see all Arjun's details are coming here. Automatically, our dashboard also shows Arjun's performance. So if I type, now the, uh, this is down the dashboard is dynamic, we can say. So everything will change. This HR, Dubai, uh, this branch wise detail, department wise detail, all his personal demographic detail, experience, performance indicator, everything will change once you type the name of the person in this search box so what i will do i will just select some random names uh, if you take sakshi sagar it should be uh, 1143 medical delhi account executive we'll see whether we are getting that name or not so in arjuns i will paste it in sakshi sagar you can see account executive finance delhi hr yes. now every detail is linked because of this search box so this is very useful as and when HR wants to check the data, he can uh, employ related information. He can just put his that name in that search box. All related information will appear here. So he need not search, go back to raw data set. Now all these are workings. We need not touch these things. They are already linked with each other. Correct? So now this one. Again, you can see this looks odd. You can go to home and change the font color to white so that as if nothing is ex work existing there correct so if you type here any other person's name uh, Rina, I will, uh, I will type Rina. automatically yeah all the information comes we'll check whether if we type in small case yeah it will take so there is no compulsion that it should be in uh, upper case or lower case even if you type it in lowercase also employee name will come uh, so you can see here so these are dynamic cells wherever you are getting na and all they are all dynamic cell so here if i type again shivani yes. you will see that details here So this is how it is linked now this is not required okay yeah so now this is linked to this one so data validation also we are not using now because of the we lookup function so this is what dynamic so these two cells are now dynamic because this one is linked to this sheet and that is search bar and this one is linked to our we lookup function these are all dynamic whenever you make changes in search bar now you can go for designing this search bar means it looks odd in this uh, circular and so what i will do is i will add one more uh, yeah, i will go to developer uh, yes insert illustration shape same shape i will take Now I will increase the width of the okay. We have 
to do little bit of uh, so I think I have one knowledge about the world I'm going to fix them uh, I have to contact the board yes. I think I have we will change the color If I click here, automatically it will not get clicked on that shape. It will click on uh, so this is how the dynamic dashboard works. So now the next part is how to save it. So suppose this is your assignment. Um, how to save that data is a uh, first you have to click on this background image control a everything will get selected then right click save as picture we will see whether search box also will come or not because uh, since dev um, this and this one uh, so dashboard image since uh, since uh, the designer mode was off. Let's see whether it will be dashboard image. Click. Yeah, search box didn't come. That's what I was expecting. So we are going back to this. We'll open the designer mode, design mode. Then we will select all. Right click, save picture, then we will select the same, replace that this previous one, search box was not there, yeah. Now if you open the design image, the name should appear, yeah, you can see here search box is visible. So this is how the dashboard looks. the clarity uh, using Montserrat fonts use uh, better look in the dashboard so this is the dynamic dashboard I hope uh, this uh, video is helpful for you in preparing dashboard using Excel sheet thanks for watching